Your faves are really trying it this week. I'm the librarian and I came to read. I know there were a lot of you who wanted me to break down the Childish Gambino video even more and um, you're in luck because if you go to ForTheCulturePodcast.com we released a, a new episode entitled This Been America where we really talk about that a, a whole bunch more a lot of the shit that has been going on so if you want to get your life almost two hours long okay me and Justin sat there and broke it down for y'all so uh, go and get your life for the culture podcast.com as I said we're on iTunes we're on Google Play Girl, we're everywhere now you can bet your bottom dollar that if Chris Brown is in the headlines, it's not gonna be for that control C, control V. You know what I mean? Copy and paste, build ass music. That's not exactly what he's not gonna be in the headlines for. He's gonna be in the headlines for some bullshit, okay? Apparently, and the woman's name, the woman's information has not been released. Um, they're calling her Jane Doe right now, but Chris Brown has apparently overseen a drug filled ass orgy where this Jane Doe was assaulted and raped and she was tricked and she was trying to leave and it's just, it wasn't happening. She's not saying that Chris Brown did it, but she's saying that, I mean, he oversaw it, he provided the drugs, and that his friends were the ones doing it, and she was forced to do some sexual acts, and girl, I'm not even gonna say the shit on here, the shit is kind of fucked up, I really feel like, if this shit is true, which I have no reason to doubt it, given Chris Brown's past and current, I always talk about a situation as recent as Karuchi ass, and you know, how he was treating her, how he still, like, is awkwardly stalking her ass, especially in the Instagram comments and shit, how she had to file whole ass, you know, court documents on his ass, and y'all talking about, oh, he's changed, he's changed. Y'all think just because you grew up with this person's music, just because you had Cliff Hustable telling your ass that weed was gonna kill you and that, you know, pull your pants up and shit, like, that just because R. Kelly told y'all ass that somebody was trapped in a closet, that y'all ass can't be, girl, you can't handle the truth, shape ass niggas, like, get the fuck out of here. Your faves are trash, they built up careers off of trash, and now the career are crumbling and if you're mad about it bitch you need to speak to your fave hold your fave accountable don't don't be mad at me don't be mad at me I, and i've been telling you it's so crazy and even people on social media i've been telling y'all that, that people certain people are trash and like it it may be years ago that i tell y'all that shit and then just now this shit is starting to fucking blow up in people's faces i told you niggas I told, so believe me the first time when I say some shit, and then maybe we can avoid these issues, okay? Now, Chris Brown, the truth is gonna come out, sis, and I don't care how long it takes, but it's gonna come out, maybe, even if it's not in this case, sis, I don't trust your ass. I, and that's the bottom line, I don't trust your ass, and neither do these lawyers, sis, so we're gonna, we're gonna see what is actually up there. We're gonna see what the T actually is, sis. And I guess I'll give you one more piece of cute pop culture news, because, girl, the rest of this shit about to be intense. Um, Cardi B, she has apparently said that she's going to be having a girl, so I'm so happy. I hope that the girl's healthy. And she also said that the Nikki versus Cardi thing was a misunderstanding, and that the Met Gala, they fucking talked about it, and I was just like, okay, sis, I hope that y'all actually talk about it, because them pictures, sis, <laughs> Cardi looks so like, okay, girl, if you don't move, I was like, I didn't know what was going on there. But Cardi went on there and said that it's just, you know, people are blowing shit out of proportion and that nothing really is going on. They talked about it and they squashed it. And I was like, okay, girl, I'm happy about it. I just need cute music. That's it. Just make sure you serve me cute music. Uh, Nicki Minaj, I need this album to be uh, serious since you're calling it queen. It actually needs to serve me some sickening ass bars that will snatch my spirit up. But other than that, okay, get y'all ass in the studio. All right, let's get this political ball rolling because it's a big one. Let's start out with the simple shit, bitch. Um, and I I really do mean simple because Melania asked first of all she came out there with this campaign called be best and um, apparently before we even get into that apparently it copies a bunch of shit as usual from previous administration and I think something happened in the previous administration was like be better and I guess Melania wanted to be best and, and it's so ironic because they're not even the best at grammar what type of fucking slogan or campaign shit is is be best Girl, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere and talk about the issues they're gonna discuss is cyberbullying and fucking opioid abuse, and it's just everywhere we turn, minorities around the motherfucking country are reminded. They're reminded of how y'all dragged it. War on drugs, war on drugs! But when it's little Susie and Tommy dying of fucking opioid fucking addiction, y'all are ready to treat the shit like it's supposed to be treated, like it's a public health issue. It's just you toilet paper in the skin, Bill bitches. I just. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I mean, she boldly just went up there looking like, she really looked like one of the iRobots. The be best. If you don't move off my fucking screen with this shit, girl, where's Will Smith when you need him? Oh, I be best. Oh, iRobot motherfucking Bill. I'm just, I mean, and you're gonna talk about cyberbullying while sleeping next to them fucking, well, girl, you don't sleep next to his ass. 
Woof, let me be real about that situation. Elk girl, this shit's so confusing. <laughs> You're gonna talk about cyberbullying when you are married to the biggest bully with the most access. You are married to the biggest bully with the most access, the most power when it comes to talk, when it comes to making statements on the internet, girl. I just, it don't make no sense. The whole thing is a fucking merry-go-round sense. And let me tell you somebody who's about to be thrown the fuck off of it. Michael Cohen as, I mean, he's under all type of fire. Honestly, I, I think the only reason that this tea is spilling is because it's after Mueller talked to these companies. And <laughs> we just have to be real. Now listen to this shit. It's kind of confusing. I don't even understand all the shit because I was looking at um, Trump pulling out of the uh, Iran deal and shit, I was like, oh my god, even former President Obama had to make a whole ass statement talking about this shit is a mistake of historic proportion. I was just like, girl, we're, we're all doomed, we're fucked. I'm telling you right now, if Thanos came down here and said, girl, you hoes are fucked up. And I'd be like, girl, you're right, just, just do it, just do it, girl, roll the dice, I'm done. Girl, it's too much, it's too much. So apparently a lot of companies, and specifically companies like Novartis, I think they're a medical company, AT&T, um, they all paid Michael Cohen for some type of access, I mean, pay for play type of teas to get in to the government. Novartis, I don't know how you fucking pronounce that shit. They pay coin upwards of $1 million and AT&T pay coin like $600,000. Now, what, what we're talking about paying coin, we're talking about paying his bullshit ass, I think it's called essential con essential consulting or something like that. Um, it's a bullshit ass, I think LLC that he uses to just funnel money in and out, okay? So that's what we're talking about paying his ass. Novartis specifically said it signed a binding contract before meeting with Michael Cohen. They made multiple statements after this shit came out. Um, and then they met with him, then decided that he couldn't help. Then they ended the contract, but still paid it in full and it doesn't make no sense. But apparently their reasoning is that they didn't want to anger Trump, so they just said, fuck it, we'll pay the whole shit. I think what they're trying to act like happened is that they thought that Michael Cohen had some type of, you know, understanding or expertise of the healthcare market, I guess. And they paid for that shit and they said, they realized he didn't have it. And they said, oh, well, girl, fuck it, we'll just keep paying it. We don't want to piss off the White House. And I'm just like, I don't know what to think about this shit. Christy Wilkie, and she is a reporter involved with CNBC, The Hill, and Huffington Post. She said this, wow, Novartis source tells Stats News uh, that Cohen came to them promising access not just to Trump, but also the inner circle around him. We were hiring him as a lobbyist. It's just a fucking mass AT&T paid 600K, and it has a lot to do with, you know, all this FCC shit being an overturn. If we're talking about that shit, um, net neutrality issue, which also was coming up, I'll talk about that. But yeah, AT&T also paid for insights, and it's just, this shit is shady. And what that's what I meant by this investigation, or these investigations are take so long because there's so much shit that we probably we have no idea what the hell what type of insider bullshit is going on and I'm hoping that mother can get to the fucking bottom of this shit before um, even the checks and balances are in fucking Trump's favor so uh, hurry y'all shit up hurry it up I thought this shit was interesting uh, Democrats will now officially push to force a vote on net neutrality under the Congressional Review Act if the resolution is passed by Congress and signed by President Trump, which is completely unlikely, I don't think that shit ever will happen, it will reverse um, Pi's, I don't know how to pronounce his name, repeal of net neutrality measures. So net neutrality is officially fucking dying and Democrats are fucking rushing trying to get this shit at least into the fucking Senate. But it, I mean, the girls are saying that it's not gonna fucking pass the House. The president is definitely not gonna sign this shit. So it's just, it's a bunch. <laughs> It's a bunch of fuckery, and that also affects me and what I do, net neutrality and shit. So, I don't have as much control over things as I wish I did, because I wish I could come in like, uh, if those of you who know Game of Thrones shit, I wish I could come in like Aegon or some shit, or like um, Daenerys and Marine and just get rid of all these fucking hoes, bitch. I wish I was like Daenerys when she was in um, the Kalasar. Y'all remember that shit? She pushed down them fucking um, lamps on them hoes. She pushed down them fucking... Green Lantern's light on the ass and she would walk around in that fire, bitch. That's exactly what I wish I could do. Cause it don't make no sense. Get the, get these hoes out of office. Vote these hoes out of office. I mean, this you, this is one man y'all are allowing to literally change the fucking face of the fucking planet. And I just, oh my God, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. But I, you wanna know what I also hate it? I hated the fact that y'all were over, a lot of people were over here talking about the Met Gala, right? And they were saying that, oh, how dare you? 
How dare you wear my culture as a dress and just making fun of my culture, my culture, this is cultural appropriation. Let me tell you something about the fucking Catholic church. Let me tell you about the church, sis. Okay, even, even today they are still tr forcefully fucking up indigenous communities. You can look as far back as something as the fucking crusade. You can look at how they used to burn holes at the stake. You can look at how people used to have to pay to get their family pay to get their family members out of hell. You can look to all of the bullshit that the ca the church has done to make sure to ensure that they are the dom one of the most dominating forces on the fucking planet. I'm talking about when they would discover new peoples and new lands and shit. That they will come in and say, well, girl, these gods y'all worship and that shit is fucked up. Y'all gotta worship like, like how we worship or it's over with. <laughs> it's done, sis. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the fact that the church owns, I think if they are not the top owner of real estate globally, they are one of the top owners of real estate globally, okay? And we have to think about how they got to own that shit in the first place. So, girl, ain't no way. Cultural appropriation is when you take certain things, when you take certain elements from the culture of marginalized groups without knowledge of their culture and without their permission. So it's just, uh, the, the church is not a fucking marginalized group, sis. They are a dominating group and they did so with violence, force, death, torture. Um, and so, girl, if the slave is making fun of its master, sis, I don't know what else to tell you, okay? But I, I do want you all to do your research on cultural appropriation and on hegemony and on dominant groups versus marginalized groups before you open up your fucking mouth. Um, I want you to open up a fucking book. I guess I saved the worst for last. George Zimmerman, dumbass, has been charged with a misdemeanor in Florida for allegedly stalking a private investigator. Court records show. Uh, now, I think this investigator, w the purpose of his ass doing his work was for this documentary. And apparently Zimmerman called the victim 55 times left 36 voicemails, sent 67 texts and 27 emails in a nine day span, including threatening to feed the victim to an alligator. Um, one of the texts that he allegedly sent the victim, I know how to handle people who fuck with me. I have since February of 2012, and we all know what that means. So I just, I mean, People will get mad about George Zimmerman and the fact that his ass is still on the streets and he's still a menace. Um, but they, like I said in the beginning of this video, they will still be gassing people like Chris Brown, R. Kelly, and Bill Cosby. Girl, you gotta pick a side, sis, um, cause standing on that fence gonna puncture your fucking foot. It's gonna puncture the bottom of your foot, sis. You have to pick a side. You can't, you can't be mad about George Zimmerman ass, who has repeatedly shown you who he was, um, still out on the street, but you ain't mad at these people, these celebrities, whether they're your favorite or not, who have repeatedly shown you who they are, and they're still running around on the street too, sis. Bet you ain't think about that shit. Michael Cohen is constructed like a baked potato, and these white holes wouldn't even season it. Have a good goddamn evening.